looking very, very much egg. Hey mamas, it's Corey and I'm back with another video. Today I will be showing you guys my no makeup makeup, almost like everyday makeup routine. Um, Being in quarantine and everything, you know, I was going... Most of us probably was going like months without wearing any type of makeup. Um, but with school starting and starting back going to work um, and everything, I wanted to start doing like no makeup makeup looks. Something to still make me feel good, still look good, um, just feel good about my skin, feel good about myself um, and whatnot. And I just feel like when you look good, you feel good, girl. You feel me? So yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know what you'd like to see next. More videos are going to start rolling in. I know I missed one last week, but I am going to try, try to upload twice this week. Um, so yeah, girls, keep on watching. All right, mamas, let's get started. Um, I'm sorry, I think they're like blowing leaves or doing something. I hear them occasionally talking and stuff outside, so I... I don't know. So y'all might be able to hear that. Um, also, my setup is a little different. Uh, we have a huge window and I was trying to film by the window, but which that's how I usually do my makeup. But the window has so much light coming in that like my lights don't you know you need more light to come in so whatever when we get better lights we'll have a better setup and we'll be by the window and it'll look so much better um so kind of the setup is giving me a little tacky a little janky but that's okay um so like i mentioned we are going to be doing my like no makeup makeup look this is probably one i do every single day I don't really do too much like on an everyday basis but i just kind of wanted to come on here and show y'all what i do um to my face every single day um probably nine times out of ten y'all see this on like instagram and stuff like that this is probably the makeup that i am wearing um you can see i'm having like my face is just so frustrating but i really think it has to i always do that i always put on school i'm like school started and i'm so stressed um so yeah let's just get started um i don't really do too much to my brows because my brows i basically just pluck them um so like i don't really do much to them um like on an everyday they're pretty thick they're pretty there so i don't really do too much to them i fill them in a little bit i'm using the wet and wild micro brow this thing was actually like 2.99 or something from um target which is so crazy to me and it works pretty good um um so i'm ordering me some lights on uh amazon i'm so excited about them because i think that would really like better my content it would better it and stuff and like when i'm able to film and stuff it would like extend it a little bit more i'd be able to do more um so yeah this is basically what i do to my brows like really nothing i just fill in kind of like the other parts kind of have a little taper fade there <laughs> like in the front because i don't really be touching it so i just leave it there um, so today I am going to be using the makeup, um, forever matte velvet skin in 3.4, um, for my concealer. I just go in the areas. I always do that. I need to start mentioning that. Like I always roll my eyes, but it's not because like I'm mad or like being aggressive or anything. Like I just do it. I don't know why and i remember being younger and my mom would always tell me like stop rolling your eyes at me like why are you always rolling your eyes at me and i'm like i'm not rolling my freaking eyes and she's like yes you are and so watching my first video this year was it this year what video i did this year no it wasn't the fragrance one it was the one before i think the fragrance one was my first one this year the one prior to that 
um the makeup video i was like oh my god i keep rolling my eyes like they probably think i'm crazy but anyways i'm gonna take this concealer and i'm going to put it on the places that you know like i want to conceal and everything um so yeah i think that was so funny and i remember calling her after the video and i was like oh my god like i see what you were talking about and she was like yeah and you used to always say like you're not rolling your eyes and i'm like yeah you you freaking are it's, I guess it's almost like a hand gesture. It's almost like something that comes natural to me. Like, let's just roll our eyes, you know? I don't know. So, yeah. I basically conceal my whole chin. Because my whole chin is filled with, like, hyperpigmentation. Um, but I go very lightly. Like, I don't use too much of this. That's why I use a brush. Because a lot comes out on, like, the spoolie. Um, I was watching Arnell's video. Uh, Armand. Arnell Armand and she did this video where she did like makeup hacks from like a makeup artist from like TikTok and uh he was showing us well I guess kind of us I don't have TikTok but she he was showing and he was saying like not to do your concealer in like a square to just do it like um here and here um, I think he they put a little bit more, but being that today is like an everyday, like no makeup makeup look. I don't like doing too much. I really don't. Um. So yeah, I just conceal the places. And when she did in the video, like it really extended her eyes, and I loved it. Sorry. Um, my boyfriend is here, and um. What well, is here? Why well, I said like he's here, like oh, like he don't live here. But anyways, he when you open the door in our house, like it messes with the other doors, so you probably could hear that too. Um, so yeah, I do that, and then where's my darker concealer? Um, I know I said it in the other video that I take my darker concealer and I conceal. Um. Uh, I'm just taking a darker concealer and I'm going to conceal my, um, the spot right here. Um, I look so light on here, so this looks so dark. I don't mind do making it a little bit darker, though, because of the fact that, like, that's where I put my bronzer. So it really doesn't look bad. Like, it really doesn't start to look bad, but dang, is that like it? I look so light on here. Maybe I am. Maybe I am light. Am I? No, I am definitely not that light in real life. I'm like trying to look at the mirror and look at y'all and I'm like, am I really that light? But anyways, um, I'm going to blend out that concealer. That concealer is very, very like pigmenty. Like, it is very pigmenty. Like, it really does a job. Um, I don't put too much of it on because I do... Um. I don't mind like my hyperpigmentation like peeking through and stuff like I don't mind that on an everyday you know like I'm not really one of those people that are like I don't want full coverage every day I'll be honest I just kind of want something to give give me a better um like a sleeker look if that makes sense um I don't go over my eyelids, I don't know. I like the way that looks. Like, I like my eyelids to look like my eyelids. Like, on an everyday basis. Um, I don't really like to do too much. I do clean up my brows, too. I don't know why I didn't do that um, prior. But like I said, I had said that in one of my videos, and I might have cut it out. Like, when I film... I don't know what it is when I film, but it's almost like I forget my routine. Like, I forget everything that I do. And so, everything comes out weird uh, because I be forgetting. Because I be forgetting. I'm wiping some off on my... Uh... Yeah, it's like I could speed through stuff any other day. But like some days, it's 
so yeah i basically go in with almost barely any product just to um so you can see like my skin basically it looks like a clean slate like now we looking good you feel me um I could literally just go with concealer, honestly. Uh, I don't think I like this concealer. It's the other one that matches a little bit better. It's this one I like to use. It's the milk one. I don't really like using that other one. It's too warm. Okay, see, I'm not crazy. It was just that concealer because this one looks better than the other one. The other one was really, really warm. Um, And so, yeah, I just concealed that spot. Oh, and then I'm gonna bring it over to like the other side and stuff. So almost like I'm liquid bronzing kind of. Um, I just do that just to conceal it a little bit though because it be looking real, real janky-ish. It's still so dark. I mean, but that kills. Um, I'm doing a skincare routine, and y'all will see the kills correcting stuff actually has been helping with my pigmentation because my pigmentation is just so dark. It's not the fact that like I have like very bad like problematic skin. It's the fact that like after I get a pimple, I end up with dark spots for like months. And so next thing I'm going to go in is almost like, I want to say a review. I think I might put that in the caption. May not be a review because I have been kind of using it for a while. Not a while, probably like a week. But this is a new product. It's the Fenty um, um, Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Um, I've been loving this. Y'all know I use the Micro Smooth uh, Finishing Powder. But I got so light during... The winter time like i always do i get so so light i tan tan so much during the summer and then like once winter heats baby i'm paper you can't see me <laughs> no but for real like i get really 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 light during the winter time and so i had to give me a lighter a lighter powder in the powder that was in micro smooth they don't have the lightest the lighter powder than what i have was too light but then the powder that i had was just too dark um i could have almost used that as a bronzer it was it was getting so dark on my skin and so this one i used 300 um like look how light like i'm so light y'all <laughs> maybe i am this light and i'm tripping maybe i am so I go in with a, a dense brush. This one's by um, Real Techniques. And I just put this all over. Oh, you know what? I usually don't do that though. I usually, see, I'm telling you, I usually set my skin with the Laura Mercier powder. I'll just go in and set that real quick. But I don't go in. So that was another thing I had seen on the video um, from the guy. He was saying like don't um bake which i normally don't bake um i'll just put a lot of powder on with my stuff and then like kind of like wipe it away but i don't bake but i figured it was almost like baking if i was putting a bunch of product on and then wiping it away uh i wasn't like keeping the product there so he said just go in with a brush i'm using the laura mercier not the trans what well, is the translucent one but it's the trans um translucent honey one so i'm just going in kind of taking away all those creases and stuff but just very lightly gonna uh go over that just to keep it in place you know get my stuff in place um so yeah i don't really do too much though i, well, I try not to i try not to do too much on an everyday basis um and with wearing our mask too, like I hate wasting my makeup. Am I the only one that hates, don't like that? Like I don't like wasting my makeup on an everyday basis. Even when I'm going to work, um, I'll do a little something, but nothing too fancy because I do not like that. Um, 
So again, it's it's clean slate. It kind of gives you like this youthful. I kind of go over my brows too. My brows start to look a little shiny. Um, my head has been giving me very much egg. Look how big. And I've been wearing these ponytails. I go ponies out every day, sticking back my hair, and my head literally looks like an egg, a big fat grape. I'm trying to like almost set the powder around my eyebrows, but you can see it's very much just plain right now but that's what we want we just want something very simple we don't want nothing too crazy um can you not um i'm going in with a a brush bar for support this is the 55 brush you can literally see where i like bang the product off when i'm like tapping it that is so funny i just noticed that i want to make a bit on my brush I must be her then. I must be tripping. No, because I see bite marks. My dog wants to bend my brush. And I'm like, oh, because I be bite, I be uh, banging it. That's her. Um, So I'm going in with my Micro Smooth Powder in Deep 56. Um, this is just going to be my bronzer. Um, I still use this shade. It's a bronze. Um... The guy was also saying, so when I was watching the video with Arnell, I kind of been using these little tips and stuff. He said, don't go low with your bronzer. Um, I don't contour, so he was saying like, if you contour and so, but I don't contour. He was saying go a little bit higher than the here, like go like, like right here. That's what he was saying. So I've been kind of doing that. Um, when I do my bronzer, um, but I like the way the concealer and the powder have been working together, like kind of just giving me, like I say, like a clean slate, just very like um, natural, nothing too crazy. And again, like all of my my real skin is just kind of still peeping through you know because that concealer is very like um full coverage but if you use just a tag you know it's not too too much so you see how kind of that bronzer brought some life back into my skin i was looking very very much egg uh, i'm gonna go down my um Line and stuff. I want to do some like uh, I actually wanted to use this shirt for one of my Valentine's Day looks. Like you know how everybody does red. I wanted to do like a classic red lip one time and then I wanted to do like a pink look. You know? Because I feel like classic red is kind of something that like you can't go wrong with on Valentine's Day. But I thought pink would look so good too. And I thought, like, how perfect this shirt would have been. Like, a bright pink. Like, a bright pink shirt. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe first week of um, February, I'll do some looks or something for Valentine's Day. I'm just trying to build the product up, though. I, I don't want to go in too dark. Um... With this, it kind of seems like I'm doing a lot, but I just don't want to put too much on, you know? I just kind of want to build it up. Um, I'm going to go down the sides of my nose. Two. Just lightly, nothing too crazy. And then I'm going to go in with my blush. I've been using the Milani uh, Baked Powder Blush in Luminoso. 
Um, I've been loving this one so much. He's okay. There was another trick in it. He said to not take it on your thing, your cheeks. So I've been doing uh, what he said. He said like flick it higher, like. Like here, I guess he said. I don't know. I've been doing it this way, so I may be doing it wrong, but <laughs> I've been following all the little tricks um, and stuff he had said. And it really gives you like this youthful, like, I don't know. I love these looks though on myself. I just be feeling like I look so like youthful and young and supple you see like I don't know if you can see but it looks so good uh even on his forehead I go on my forehead even over the nose too so I've been kind of following all those like tips and tricks but you can see it's very natural I'm gonna go back over my eyebrows With that same like clear brow gel by Anastasia. I don't know if I said that, but yeah. It's that um, I'm going to put on a, a light layer of the Marc Jacobs mascara. And this is like I said, my everyday. If I do something for work, um, I'll do this. Y'all hear Mega? Everywhere I go, she like follow. Um, 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 so this is it you can kind of see like i said like i don't mind like the little stuff like popping through like just something every day like a no makeup makeup look you i mean i obviously do have makeup so i probably won't label it no makeup makeup look because i do have makeup on and you can tell um i don't do highlighter on these days just because i feel like i don't know i feel like the routine itself it looks very youthful um the blush everything it looks very like young and youthful and glowy and gloomy not gloomy glowy and dewy um and so i feel like um i've been liking it without any highlighter on an everyday basis uh i'm going to just go ahead and set my skin with the milk uh, makeup hydro um i don't do too much of this but just something light um and yeah, I really hope you guys like this video. I love this. This did not take me that long. Um, and on an everyday basis without me talking and stuff, I could probably finish this in 10 to 15 minutes. Like, <clears throat> just like real quick. Excuse me. Sorry for sneezing. So if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, thank you for watching it. Uh, thank you so much. I know my setup is not the best at the moment but we are getting better set up better lot better lighting all of that um so thank you guys so much for watching um and i will see you in my next one girls